Hey guys, so I recently just went to Sephora and I purchased the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I wanted to go ahead and test it out here in this video and give you guys a review on the primer. It just caught my eye and I wanted to try it out. So they have two different sizes. They have a regular size primer and then this is the travel size or the mini size primer. I went ahead and got the smaller one just in case I didn't like the primer. But before we get started, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sylvia. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Thursday. So a little bit about Milk Makeup. All of their products are 100% vegan, cruelty free, and they use clean ingredients as well in their products. So I actually just want to try out more of their products and try more things from their brand. They are available at Sephora, so if you go to Sephora, you would be able to find the brand there. So the mini size is $15 and you get 0.33 ounces. The regular one is $30 and you get 1.52 ounces. It does come with a lot in the regular size primer. So let me go ahead and I'll just open the packaging. So this primer is hemp derived cannabis extract and blue agave extract for blissed out skin. So it does have cannabis in the primer which I know this is like a new thing in the beauty industry. You see more and more beauty products and skincare products that are including uh, like CBD oil, cannabis, extract, hemp extract, things like that. So this is the packaging of the primer and it does come in a plastic bottle and the plastic bottle is clear so you can see the color of the primer which is has like a green tint to the primer and then it also comes with a pump which I really like that the mini size also comes with a pump and it's uh you know makes it easier to use. I love primers that come in a pump so when I pump out the primer onto with the back of my hand as you guys can see that it's not runny it's not liquidy it just feels like a gel it feels cooling on the back of my hand and it feels a little sticky so that's gonna tell me that the makeup is gonna adhere to the primer and probably make it last longer but I really like how it feels on the back of my hand it just looks clear but you can see that gives off a shine it hasn't dried down either so online it says that this is a makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp direct cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold. It says that it hydrates and smooths the look of skin while providing antioxidant benefits and forms an invisible layer to grip makeup, smooth the look of texture and seal in moisture. And the prickly pear cactus extract and aloe water hydrates, soothes, and calms skin. So this primer is free of sulfates, SLS, and SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde, hydrate releasing agents, plathlate, mineral oil, retinol, palmate, um, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, uh, triclosan, and tricocarban, and contains less than 1% of synthetic fragrances, and it's also gluten-free. So it also says that this primer is formulated with aloe water, cherry blossom, hyaluronic acid, and B vitamins to support skin for a healthy looking face, and B vitamins to support skin. The silicone-free, oil-free, green tinted formula blends into clear to work across all skin tones and types. Simply allow the formula to sit one minute to fully absorb and activate grip for the best results. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the primer now. I don't have any makeup on my face right now. All I have is moisturizer and my sunscreen which it has fully absorbed into my skin. I'm gonna put more on the back of my hand. Just one pump. Work it into... wow feels really nice so I'm just gonna grab a little bit more like half a pump as it starts to dry down it's really starting to feel more like sticky so that's actually a really good thing because the stickier <laughs> the primer the more that your makeup is gonna last so hopefully we will see that at the end of the day I'm gonna apply my makeup and then come back at the end of the day let you guys know if my makeup lasted I like that it feels cooling and feels hydrating as well which I really really like that alright so it's been one minute and I am gonna use my Thrive Cosmetics CC cream this is in the shade light 
medium. So I know that CC creams don't last that long on me because I have oily skin. So I really just wanted to try out the primer with the CC cream because then I can really test to see if this will make the CC cream last longer. So right now it is 1 p.m. and I will come back at the end of the day let you guys know how I feel about the primer. All right, so, so far after applying the foundation, it looks pretty good. I do feel like I have a very glowy complexion right now. So as you guys can see, like, because the CC cream is like a more of a dewy finish, it just looks healthy and glowy. So I really do like that look. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer. I don't wanna do like a full glam look. This is just gonna be like everyday makeup look. And I used the Fenty Beauty Concealer in shade 190. Okay, so for powder, I'm going to use the Kylie Setting Powder, which I did just do a review on the Kylie Setting Powder. If you want to check that out, I will link it up here and in the description box below. I apply the setting powder everywhere. And then just set the rest of my makeup with the powder. Wow, that looks really good. Alright guys, so this is how my face looks with foundation and concealer and setting powder. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I will come back later on tonight. Let you guys know what I think about the primer if my makeup lasted longer than usual. So far, I love how my base looks. So yeah, I will come back at the end of the day. Let you know what my final thoughts are on the new Built Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Hey guys, so I am back and it is about to be 8 p.m. here. So I've been wearing the primer for about seven hours now and I am ready to take off my makeup, take a shower because I did work out today. So I was actually able to test out the primer really, really well today. I did a workout outside and oh my God, my ass hurt. <laughs> so, so far I feel like my makeup is still in place. As you guys can see, my skin does look kind of glowy. As far as like the makeup lasting a really long time, I don't think so because or at least not with the CC cream. From far away it looks fine but if I look in the mirror like in person and close up, I can see that the CC cream is starting to wear off. It definitely came off right here on my chin. Um, I do have like creasing right here on my smile lines. Definitely came off right here on my nose. I do like that my skin looks pretty smooth though and it does have like that healthy glow might not be good uh, with a CC cream it might be better with an actual foundation I do like that it has aloe water cherry blossom hyaluronic acid B vitamins it's oil free silicone free and that it's vegan and cruelty free so I do like all of those things I like that it comes in a little bottle and a pump so it's easier to travel with or if I'm using a really mattifying foundation this would be really good because it's not like a mattifying primer. Um, so yeah, those are my final thoughts. I am gonna keep using the primer. Will I buy the full size? I don't think I will. I probably will stick to the mini size primer just because I have a bunch of other primers. But I do like that this primer doesn't have any type of shimmer in the primer because I feel like sometimes shimmer accentuates the texture on my skin. Those are my final thoughts on the new Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. Let me know in the comment section what primers have you tried recently that you really love or if you guys see anything online that you guys want me to review make sure you tag me and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!